went around the room and asked how many had a computer. And out of the 11, only one said that they had a computer and it was an old desktop that they had at home and they shared it. So it dawned on me that not only have we had inequity in the underserved neighborhoods, but now we have what's called a digital divide where poor children are not able to access a computer at home. Our process is bringing computers back in from large corporations, from individuals, and then we're recycling those and we're getting them into the hands of kids to try to make a difference in not only Jacksonville, but all of our outlying rural areas and make sure that every kid gets the same opportunities. So I think that underserved area is one that's really important to us because we don't want anyone to be left out of this. We want to make sure everyone has the same opportunity. And if it means we have to put technology in their hands, that's what we have to do. So just what is the impact when you put a computer in the hands of a young person? We'll share an amazing story of personal transformation. I was shoved to the side. I was put into to a school where all the failures were put. There's no doubt there is real value when you put a computer in the hands of a young person. Vincent Waugh is a senior at Lehigh School, and his story will take your breath away. Vincent's story was an uphill battle with a history of poverty, homelessness, and failure. And my mom became a single parent with five kids, and we're all living in the same room, sleeping in the same room, you know. And I started to realize that my refrigerator was empty, and then from there it was a spiral just to the worst, you know, from just fighting, getting jumped, you know, actually having to check my back, you know, never knowing if I'm gonna get shot. When I first met Vince, um, I actually kicked him out the first day of school. I could tell he was special, he had something within him, he had a presence, but it's almost like he didn't know how to channel it or even communicate it. Every single day for ninth and 10th grade, he would tell me about how he was gonna drop out, every day. I was shoved to the side. I was put into to a school where all the failures, the considered failures that couldn't make it were put. But there was a shining light a number of loving, invested people, including his teacher, Amy, and a program called EVAC, which fueled Vincent to begin envisioning his future. In fall 2018, he just hit the ground running. He said, Ms. Donofrio, we can really do some things, but we've got to work for it. But one thing that was really challenging is that he didn't have a computer, and that's where STEM came in. They showed up and really changed his life. I thought I was getting in trouble. I was like, what did you do? I swear. I think it would be really exciting. You would have thought you gave him a million dollars. It was the, the greatest moment. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. I had been really pushing him to consider college. And around that time, he had been given an opportunity to look into a program at FSU that he was a pretty good candidate for. And when, I'll never forget, when he had got the computer and he opened it up, it was like he could see himself there for the first time. From this, being given that computer, it not only gave me an opportunity to venture out, it gave me an opportunity to realize that I want to be an asset. He said, this was, this is, this is a gift I would have never thought that I would get, but what it does for me, you, you can't imagine. This one laptop connected me to over a billion different people across the world that had a billion different type of expertise in different categories in life. And the only things I had to do was use the tip of my fingers to reach them. He's really pushing this with everyone else in the school and showing kids that there's, there's a better way. There's a lot of opportunities out there. You don't have to be a gang member. There was a whole list full of people that were willing to sacrifice to make it possible. And I felt that I had, I had opportunities like, this is the time to shine. Like, this is my moment. I can touch the moon. If I can visualize this, what else can I visualize? Where, where are we going from here? Unfortunately, there's too many Vincents. And, and, and that's another thing that I think the STEM hub plays a role in to try to educate these folks and give them hope that if they learn these skills, they learn how to code, they're gonna get a job. Mm -hmm.